my friends so if you've been wondering what do I do in my automation I've been posting a few things I talked about how do I syndicate to 20 plus platforms today we're going to talk about the details you know it's a little bit of a geek talk we're going to talk about some of the details that maybe I covered some of it before but if you're new here and you're wondering what it is that I do that I post to 20 or more 25 or so platforms every single day and how do I do that how do I do it within an hour or so in a day how is it possible right how could I possibly be doing that we're going to show you how I do that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secret so what is it that I do let me share my screen and show you a little bit of a little diagram that I put together to show you a little bit of what I do now what we see here on the screen let me just uh, resize my my webcam so you can see everything you can go a little bit in an area that isn't uh, that doesn't have anything but yeah so what you see right here is basically my whole entire syndication process so what I first do is I record a video using OBS video and I write a blog post in WordPress so those two things take some of my time right so the recording the video is depending on the length of the video plus you know maybe choosing the title and things like that so it takes me about half an hour to 40 minutes depending on how long I want to make the video right now I'm recording it uh we're at one two almost two minutes in and by the way if you're watching this or sorry if you're listening to this in an audio because as you can see I go to all sorts of different audio platforms here you can go and watch the video that I'm talking about that I'm showing this diagram right here at CIS what is it 200 today is it 200 CIS 230 CIS 230.jsgagnon.com that's CIS 230.jsgagnon.com so make sure you go check that out that's where I'm going to post the blog that's what this is about right here the blog post I wish I had a uh, some I don't have a tool to to show a um you know a, 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 I could probably anyway showing where I'm at what I'm talking about recording on OBS this is OBS right over here I'm going to show you right here this is actually OBS you see the screen within the screen whatever but this is a tool that lets you ch choose different things different uh, scenes you can have different inputs different things you can have all sorts of things OBS is a piece of software that's free that you can sell on your PC on your Mac on your Linux and it lets you record videos like this the other thing I do is I uh, write a blog on my WordPress blog so I mean this is my WordPress blog I post a blog here every single day weekdays I'm at like you see 227 228 229 uh it's a WordPress blog it's on Click eCourse you can actually get it for free yourself just go to clickecourse.com to get your own blog so that's the the what's in the green here is what I actually manually do what I actually do myself the other parts that are in other boxes are automated things so for example when I finish recording my video it saves me a full video that 30 minute video when I create my blog I, I take the text out of the blog and I save it in a text file so that I can use an automation script which you have right here to extract all of these pieces out of it so I extract a short video I extract a video thumbnail I extract a podcast thumbnail I extract a wave file I extract a gif uh, image as well and I extract a bunch of text files based on the different platforms so I have a, a text a text file for YouTube a text file for Facebook a text file LinkedIn a text file for Aweber a text file for uh IG uh Pinterest I have a test file for SoundCloud I mean <laughs> that's all done by this script it's a script that runs and I can show you the script right here uh whenever I run the script it generates all these files right here creating creating file creating file creating gifts in this case it's already got the gifts so it just says I already have them a gift the full wave file the trim file and then afterwards uh well I, I don't have that explained here but afterwards I also copy everything to an intermediate server on the internet because my internet is slow so I copy this video <laughs> to the internet and then I run the script on the server on the internet so that way I don't have to upload to every single platform using my slow internet so I use a a, a remote desktop computer right okay so that's 
kind of what I do here and the other thing is once I publish my blog on my blog post after I've uploaded the video and there's different things that have to happen but then only wire picks it up and it syndicates it to all these platforms right only wire automatically syndicates it to blogger to reddit to tumblr to <laughs> pocket to instapaper to live journal to wordpress.org and to twitter and it also re-syndicates it to other platforms like Facebook and LinkedIn uh, that I, I'm already doing differently but that kind of lets me share my blog post on all those platforms as well <coughs> okay so then what happens is that I will um yeah so yeah so then what happens is over here I take the sh I take the wave file with a thumbnail that's generated for the podcast so say for example I show you here in my previous episode what it looked like so in my previous episode I get all these files generated right so you can see yeah okay so the thumbnail right here is just uh oops yeah it's just a screenshot of the uh thumbnail right of the image close that the uh gif I got three different gifs but the one I really use is is this 600 gif over here which is basically the same thumbnail but but a position in the video that kind of shows like it's a moving a moving image right it's not a video but it's it moves like an image then the next one I do is a SoundCloud thumbnail which is basically course and cup secrets with John Serge Gagnon and there's always a podcast number number right there on top of it I use that and then it trims a five minute video it also does a two minute one I don't need that one but it creates the WAV file as well and then it creates all these text files right all these text files so that's what the script does and let's go back to the image I was watching I didn't realize it closed me up here but let's go back to it so this image over here and I've got to go back to my view I had earlier so that I can see the whole thing there we go there we go okay actually um there so we can see the whole thing and let me move my uh, webcam out of the way again because it moved to a different spot now there we go let's just move it I don't know where can I move it I'll move it <laughs> actually it's the different size now so I'm not sure what's going on oh that's because I did that yeah okay so there's anyways my webcam is in the way a little bit but you can you can see that, that there's all these text files that get generated then after that what I do is I take the WAV file and the podcast thumbnail and I upload it to SoundCloud so so SoundCloud I can I can syndicate to other places but SoundCloud is it's on SoundCloud but it also means that with iTunes um syndication I'm able to use the SoundCloud RSS feed to push to iTunes automatically so I don't have to do anything so the parts that are in the green are things that I actually do everything else is automated by processes and by scripts and things like that so that's what that is so and then I take the full video and the video thumbnail I upload it to YouTube I, the order might be a little different but anyways I take the short video and upload it to LinkedIn with the text right the text plus the mp4 and then I take the text and the short video and the video thumbnail I upload to Facebook I actually put it in a Facebook page as a Facebook live stream using OBS again I do that there so that way even though it's not live it still shows up as I was live in the past when people look at the videos instead of showing just an uploaded video I don't know if that's better or not but Facebook used to pr uh, prefer live live videos live stream over over uploaded videos right so that's what I do there then the Pinterest I do the same thing the short video with the video thumbnail upload that to Pinterest then I take the short video and I upload it to IGTV that I have to do on my phone so I actually copy the video to my phone or the short video to my phone and then I upload it that way and then I upload the short video plus the podcast thumbnail to click eCourse and then that is shared automatically to Alexa through an RSS feed click eCourse supports that next I take the text and the full video and the video thumbnail again I upload it to click your course in a different uh what what's called a I guess it's a course but the thing is that the the there's a there's an RSS feed that you can use that then shares it to iHeartRadio Spotify Google Podcast and Stitcher all through the one upload right and there's probably more that I could actually uh support I haven't uh, let's just let's just move that up here so then I also create a using a text file and an email the gif the gif 
I create a Naweber uh, broadcast and send it off to my email list so I do all that with this one piece of content and I do all that that's why it takes me like I mean you know that there's a couple of things that happen right so first of all the upload to YouTube right the upload to YouTube is not uh something that takes a minute for me I record the video then I have to upload it to my server which takes and if I was to upload it to YouTube it would be the same thing it would take about 30 minutes to an hour to upload to YouTube that's how bad my internet is and that's why I upload it to an intermediate server so that once it's on the intermediate server that's on the internet I can upload it to YouTube to LinkedIn to Facebook to Pinterest like within seconds right and so that's why I do that if you have fast internet obviously you don't have to worry about that but I do all these things on the intermediate server the upload to SoundCloud the upload to Click eCourse um, the upload to Pinterest Facebook LinkedIn I do all that then I also do a story I record a story in Snapchat right and then I share that story to Facebook and then and LinkedIn and Instagram stories and then I also upload it to TikTok as a post in my TikTok feed so all these things are all done from this one recording and this one blog post that I'm doing and you know you could obviously do all this manually that's but I I rather have a script I want to set up an automated process so that you could actually you know do this yourself all you would have to do is you would have to record a video you would have to write a blog post and then you would have to upload that video to a site and then you would have to specify where in the video you want the thumbnail and then that would be it you would click a button and it would do it all for you right it would create all these pieces for you that you could then do the syndication yourself or that you know some of the syndications automate automated for you right <coughs> but the but that's a process that I want to put in place and I'm wondering if you're interested in that just let me know because if nobody's interested I'm not going to work on it because I'm I'm happy with what I'm doing right but if I if anybody else wants to be able to do this then that's how I would decide whether I work on it or not right because I got lots of other things to worry about and if nobody's nobody wants to automate this for themselves or nobody wants to use a system that lets them do it then um then I'm not going to worry about it uh, but I do think there's some value there's some benefit there's some interest there must be some people out there that would want to be able to do that so if you want to be able to do that let me know message me on any platform send me a message saying hey you're interested in that and what would happen is whoever messages me that they're interested in it there I would actually um, allow you early access right but it's not free obviously I, it takes a lot of work for me to put this in place but it wouldn't be very expensive it would probably be something that I would include in the basic plan of Click eCourse as a feature on Click eCourse because as you know I'm building Click eCourse it's a it's a hosting site but it also is a site that lets you do certain things like for example you can upload a, a, a video here and it can send you can syndicate it to an audio service like this right you can go to Alexa or iHeartRadio or Spotify or Google Podcast or Stitches uh Stitcher just by using a video that you upload to a site isn't that cool right because that because Clicky course does extract the audio out of it so you can then share it as a RSS feed to those services uh what else what else can you do um the other thing you can do with Click eCourse obviously other than creating courses is um is that it's a social media platform as well so you can have and that's in the works right now uh, groups and pages and friends and all those all that kind of stuff that you can obviously you can do it on Facebook but the problem with Facebook and other platforms is that you're not you don't get all the information whenever somebody posts something whenever you post something no not everybody gets it so notifications are muted and it's all like the platform makes decisions for you and it's all like you don't control what you see the platform controls it which I I totally I find annoying and especially if you're trying to create a group a mastermind group or something like that you want people to see everything you post you don't want to have to you, you don't want to, them to have to go and mixed in with everything else so if they're on the platform specifically for what you what you're doing then that's one of the reasons why I'm putting that in place with a click eCourse but like I said if you want this kind of thing if you want this kind of thing to be 
something that is automated for you right where you can you can go to Spotify you can have it go to Spotify you can have it go to IGTV you can automate some iTunes you can automate uh, going to blogger going to, to reddit going to pocket all these different places if you want to have that then you got to let me know that you're interested in it because if I don't know that you're interested I I won't I won't know to do it right so but anyways okay so let's go dive in a little bit to the process so for example if I want to <laughs> if I want to create a file from this let me just kind of show you let's get my webcam out of the way here I'm gonna put it back down there make it a little bit bigger all right so let's say you have and this is this is obviously not what I'm talking about when I talk about the automated process the idea would be like I said you would go to a website you would upload a video and then you would um, create a blog post and then you would you put that url in there as your blog post url and the and all you have to do now is set at uh, where in the in the picture in the video that you want the thumbnail to be or maybe you upload a thumbnail right but in the end is that you click a button to generate all these uh artifacts right all these pieces from that video but under the covers this is what happens and if you want if you're a geek and you want to learn how to do it under the covers this is kind of what it, what it is so over here I have uh, so right now I'm inside the folder for yesterday 2020 09 29 right uh 23 uh, number 229 today we're at 230 episode 230 but if I was to go into uh, into the folder I can see I have all these files right I start off with a video just the mp4 file I don't have any of these other videos any of these other files none of these exist the only file that exists is this one right and if we go back to say for example um, in my folder here it's the same thing if I go to this folder I can see <clears throat> I can see that all the files and the one that's the original file is this one right that's the original file it's a that video was 38 minutes and it's it's recorded in OBS and then I save it and then I give it the same name as the actual episode so actually one of the things I do is when I first start and as you can see right here I got a folder called course income secrets and in here I have all these folders with the dates right so what I do is I create a new folder with the date and then a number because I want to have episodes right one two three four five whatever I'm at 230 right now and what I do is I then I give it the name of the episode I give it the name of the episode in the actual folder name so that I'm not so that I keep track of that then in there I record the video and then I save it here as the file name that matches the it's exactly the same name as the folder I just go back here I copy the folder name and I rename the the recorded file from OBS to match that okay so I do that that's part of it then I run a script that's um let me just uh, let's see let's open up a new tab here not a new tab but a new uh, a new uh, file explorer thing go to my code and Octo scripts all right so in here I have a couple scripts now all these scripts do different things like for example there's this this script here that creates a, a gif a gif file for my my email campaigns or for my posts in um actually the part that I didn't put in my in my program there is that I also upload to a tool called social jukebox and that tool re-syndicates things over time randomly right if you if you google the, if you look at that in my in my blog post you're going to find something about social jukebox you can actually go check it out I show it I show you how it works how to use it but it basically re-syndicates blog posts from before regularly like every day it'll it'll post a you know blog post a random blog post from from the last year or whatever right and that lets that lets the content constantly be seen by your audience right but anyways I create a piece of text for that and then I upload that in jukebox and then it's there forever right so that's one of the other things I do okay so I create um let's see the octo content prepare let's just open that script up just kind of show you what it looks like so this is this is scripting I mean it's a it's programming it's complex it's got lots of stuff in here 
and you know like I said if you're not a geek then you're not going to be interested in this and if you're listening to the audio you definitely want to go check out the video at cis230.jsganga.com because I'm going to explain some of this and right now we're looking at the actual code right as you can see it's basically got some arguments to it uh, depending on whether I want to create the thumbnail depending on when I want to create the video thumbnail the gif the soundcloud file oops I just um you know if I don't want to trim the mp4s yet so you know one of the things I do is I record the video and then I want to just get the thumbnails out uh, so I do a I specify the no trim because I don't want to because it takes about it takes a, almost an hour maybe half an hour to extract the WAV file and extract the trim video the five minute video out of it right so I, it's not instantaneous it takes time to do but it's certainly better that a script does it instead of me having to constantly to go in and edit inside of Camtasia or something right and manually do it right so I re much rather have a script do it for me so that's what this script does but uh in the beginning I just want to create the thumbnail because I want to make sure that I picked the right timestamp in the video and that's something that maybe uh you might uh well if I automate this in a platform in the platform and click eCourse then you'll be able to see exactly what the thumbnail is that you're actually going to be picking before you click the you know go button right but so none of this you don't have to worry about any of this if you're looking to uh if you're interested in ac access to the platform so like I said just message me uh find me on Facebook on LinkedIn on Twitter on Instagram any of those platforms go to my blog there's a contact me uh link on the in the menu just message me that you're interested in the platform and we'll uh, take it from there but okay so if you're a geek and you want to do this yourself you just got to have something that lets you run these kinds of scripts you can do that in Linux or in Sigwin there's lots of different ways but if you and if you wanted the script I probably could get it to you it'd, it'd be fine um, but basically this script lets it creates all these things right it'll create this text file for uh LinkedIn text right it creates a text file for LinkedIn creates a text file for SoundCloud the text file for Pinterest text file for Facebook text file for YouTube text file for jukebox uh the Twitter jukebox and the LinkedIn jukebox and then the Aweber one which is my email list and then after that it's it 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 does the creation of if the if the mp4 exists because I can run this before the mp4 exists in any case it does all these um generation right over here it's generating the thumbnail the thumbnail over here it's generating the gif then the 600 gif the 1200 gif then it generates the soundcloud thumbnail the soundcloud thumbnail that has you know this extra text on it and it's got this this uh, right over here as you can see right here it says the text is where's the text oh it's probably let's just uh, make this a little bit wider maybe you can see it better if we make it wider let's make the the screen this the text bigger I bet you that's better right especially if you're watching on a small screen okay so uh if we want to create the text it's right here it says text the text is here and the text itself is podcast number episode number right the text you see on the side that's kind of sideways this is done by this thing it does a con it calls a function called convert and then it says the point size it says the gravity it says the stroke the color the width and then it says to fill it and it says to put the text here and then it does a dif different point, point size with a different then it does the text again does the text again and that's why when you look at the thumbnail the thumbnail has this like back shadow on it kind of thing right so anyways I thought that was kind of cool it took me a while to figure that out but that's that's pretty cool then it does the uh mp4 the wave file and then it does the trimmed five minute video and the trim there's an, also a two minute video that I'm doing but I don't use so probably I could get rid of that <coughs> but <coughs> but yeah and so that's that's the script that generates all these pieces when I show you here let's go here yeah right here all these pieces that are being generated right all this all this over here is done by that script right the short video the thumbnail the wave file the podcast thumbnail the the gif and then all the text all the text files <clears throat> that I need to use to cut and paste inside of the different posts right like when I'm posting my LinkedIn post I don't write it up I just take the text that came out of my blog here the first x number of characters the script knows how long the, the LinkedIn post is allowed to be and then it 
puts the link and things like that so look if I show you for example uh like for example if I look at this the text file let's make this a little bit bigger too right okay so let's say I do um the uh which one the LinkedIn one LinkedIn post so my LinkedIn post has the this this is basically I just take this and I copy all of this into my LinkedIn post when I post it I just take that and copy it to just like that and then I add a comment to my LinkedIn post like this afterwards which contains the full link to my to my blog and that allows uh, SEO to be better because uh, my blog links are being seen in all sorts of different places right so that's what they call backlinks so I mean it doesn't take a minute it doesn't take a day for all this to 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 be of value but it does it does do that over time right um so that's the LinkedIn one if I look at say for example the SoundCloud one the SoundCloud text is basically the same thing it's the text from the there's a title here right see how it says title then description so there's my title right here I just take that and I paste that in my title when I'm posting in SoundCloud and then I take this part all of this all the way to here and I I take all that and I paste it in the description of my SoundCloud uh, upload and then and and that that way I don't have to remember to type anything just cut and paste right same thing with Pinterest I look at the Pinterest post I got a title right here and I got the text that fits in the in the Pinterest um, description and then I have the link that Pinterest wants to have in the link uh part of the of the pin right that you're posting to Pinterest so that's the kind of stuff that my automation does like I said all of this is all like like all this generation of all this stuff which takes a while to do if you don't have it automated is all done automatically I mean it takes a, it takes half an hour an hour to do but I'm not doing it I just run this script right here and it just does it for me right so it's the, it's the same as posting to all these platforms right here right all posting and then posting to uh, the SoundCloud let's get me out of there whoops wrong wrong one this one there what happened oh there we go I think I messed up my uh, okay so there so now this uh, all this stuff here right that I'm I'm posting on all these different platforms that I'm posting on uh, this part here is, is there's a manual work here involved because recording a snapchat story takes you know a minute you record it and then after that you save it to your phone and then I add text to it I add the link to it I sh share it on my snapchat story then I go back and I share it on Instagram and that's by uploading right and that creates like in snapchat it's a minute a minute story that's the maximum to do 60 seconds right but in link and then LinkedIn same um sorry Instagram is same thing it's 60 seconds right but in Instagram it's four videos of 15 15 seconds right and and I add text to them and I share it on step on it on on Instagram and then when it's finished uploading on Instagram then I go and I share that on Facebook as well I know you can share from Instagram to Facebook automatically and I do that but that goes only to a Facebook page it doesn't go to my my personal story on Facebook which is what I want there and then I upload that same video to TikTok and I add some text and the links and things like that and that's what that's that's the story part of it so that's a manual process this part here probably takes uh, maybe 10 minutes right to do but it's really five minutes of my time right the the minute to record plus plus the 30 seconds to put the text and upload it and then wait then do the other one upload it and wait and then do the other one upload it and wait and then do the other one upload it and wait right all these these few ones and then the amount of time it takes me to create my blog post like I said in previous episodes it's like maybe 15 minutes 30 minutes depending on the blog post and then the recording the video is obviously the time it takes to record the video 30 minutes or so and uploading to each of these platforms like uploading to SoundCloud YouTube so one two three four five six seven eight nine well I don't know if you want yeah I suppose you count that so nine uploads right nine uploads take about maybe two minutes maybe a maybe a minute just a minute each right so that's 10 minutes to do all this it takes me about might take me about half an hour to do all this right so half an hour for this 15 minutes for that that's you know 45 minutes 
and plus five minutes for this that's 50 minutes and then the recording of the video right so that's an hour and a half or so a day so it's not too bad but it certainly could be a lot worse if you didn't have all of these uh, uh if you don't have all this automation right so anyways I thought you'd like to see this you'd like to see how I do this automation and how you can do it too right you can do this you could do this right now maybe you can't or you you would need to to know how to do all this to post everywhere but uh just let me know if you're interested in taking part in the beta program for the automation of all this and I would love to have you on board all right just go ahead and message me and we'll talk in the next episode have yourself a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.